Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 21 Career Mode Youth Edition featuring Saarbrücken and we are here in Bundesliga 2, our final game of the season and it's a big one. If we win, we guarantee ourselves a chance, at least a playoff finish for a chance to go to the Bundesliga. And if we get a victory and a Hamburg loss who take on number one, Dusseldorf, we will see ourselves into automatic promotion. So we need to get a victory here, one game to play, and then maybe we'll see what happens. Do we go into the offseason? Do we go into a playoff? We'll see what happens. Let's get into this one, though, against Busham. So again, no changes to the lineup. It's been doing so well. We really don't want to rotate anything. Nikosi really cemented himself there in net. Let's get into this one here against Busham. It's a big one, final game of the season. And we'll get this one underway. Baker gets the ball out and has DeLonge down the wing. DeLonge now with Cabin on his inside. Can he find the ball to him? It's Cabin. Drives right in. Can he find an early goal? Sends it across the face of the net. Misses in that back post and almost finds an opening goal. Oh, ball gets ticked around. Nikosi one-on-one -on -one and unfortunate there. Oh, that's just a header that just bounces the wrong way for us. And they come in with a big early goal. It's going to be one to nil. Knocked away goes to Sullivan. Sullivan now racing forward. Has Frank out wide. He goes to him. Frank now pushing forward. Can he find it? Looking for that cross. Finds Para who flicks it over and goes over the crossbar. It's Winkler who gets it up. Para now. Holding up. Can he find it through? Looking, shooting it down to Cabin. Cabin trying to get there. And again, just a little too long on the pass. Sullivan here has Para. Para now racing in. Can he find one before halftime? He has a chance and beats the keeper. And we're back in it. It's one to one. It's Para who finds another goal. And it's the 37th minute for it. As we hadn't had much offense and had been missing a lot of chances there. We finally get one through. And we're back in it, all even, one-to-one. -one. It's down the middle, they get in front of it, and no, no one comes for the man in the middle. Two-to-one, as Busham find the back of the net yet again. Before halftime, they take a lead, two-to-one. It takes a deflection, and Para finds it in the midfield, trying to get it through, couldn't find Winkler, finally gets it to him, now sends it along. Sullivan couldn't handle it. And that's about how our game has gone so far as we have not been able to control the ball. We'll go into halftime down 2-1. to one. Baker gets it out wide to Cabin. Cabin now down the line. Sends it back in nicely to DeLonge. DeLonge now waiting for some help here on sides. Para right in front of the net. Couldn't get there. Rebounded shot. And it's going to fall in the back of the net. And we're back even 2-2. Two to two. Off a little bit of luck there as Saarbrücken find the back of the net all even here in the 53rd minute. Thanks again to Para who always comes up with a big goal. Cabin knocks it down. Tries to get it up. Has Sullivan. Sullivan now away from the defense. Finds Para again. Is he on size? Can he put it? No. Puts it just wide looking for that leading goal. Sullivan. Has the ball, goes up to Para. Para now back into the middle. Can he race forward? Looking for Cabin. He slips it through, and Cabin couldn't get on the end of it. He's maybe a little out of position as Para tried to move it right up the middle. Frank on the ball, moving it forward. Has Para. Can he find a long ball? Para runs onto it. Can he get in there? Looking for a lane to shoot. Finds it, takes it, and deflected away and cleared off the end line there for Busham. Out wide, Renault can't get there. Petit going to have to get there on the header, and luckily goes wide. Busham pushing forward here. DeLonge now has it off Ivanov. Ivanov now, can he get it up? Para, Para going to race in, tries to avoid the defenders, tries to send it across. Has Kuhn right there. Kuhn, if he's on sides, is in the back of the net. It goes on the scoreboard. 79th minute, Kuhn has a goal there. Comes off the bench, and the man who was such a big part of our team who for so long had gone quiet this season, finds a late goal here on the final day of the season, giving us a late lead and a chance here as Dusseldorf led Hamburg at halftime, a chance to get automatically promoted. 
It's another corner here. Final minutes. It's a high one in. We have not dealt with him well. Still in the box. And Nicosi makes the big save and gathers the ball. And it's Baker who's going to shoot it down. It's Ivanov. He's going to run onto it. Ivanov now driving forward. Holds up. Drops it off Kuhn. Kuhn chips it up and he'll find the back of the net. Not the prettiest of ways to do it, but that will seal it. 89th minute. And Kuhn has number two on the day. And a great way for him to come on late in the season. Finds the back of the net. And the seconds will tick down here in extra time. We will get the victory we need. It will be at least third on the table. At least a playoff chance. We'll see what though. See what happens though with Hamburg and Dusseldorf. It could be automatic promotion and it could be Bundesliga here for Saarbrücken. And unfortunately, it will be a relegation match, a promotion playoff. TBD, the other team, is Hamburg found a late equalizer and get the draw against Dusseldorf. Now, it's a chance here to go up via the playoffs. We'll have to see who we play here for June 5th. So as we get to the end of the season, we do have some players looking to come in from the academy. And the first one is Sebastian Velasquez, who we did bring in. He's a center back, can also play central defensive midfielder, showing great potential. So decent stats there. And then we also have him a six foot. So you'd like to see that be a little bit better, but physical, decent pace. So probably more a central defensive midfielder, but good jumping, good stamina, good strength. Looks like he could be a decent defender here for the future. And so we are here in Lithuania, and unfortunately, it has not brought anyone back. And we are here in Germany, and it also has not brought anyone back here in the second month. And we are here in Latvia, and it has one player we'll take a look at. We'll bring him in. Rahardis Zvergdizens. He's 6'7", looks like he could be a left back, so maybe we can move him over to a center back and give us some height in the middle. We'll bring him into the academy. So, unfortunately, he doesn't have great overall, but he, he can play center back, obviously, at six foot. And, you know, some decent stats to him. You'd love to see it be a little bit better, but six seven, that'll give some good height in the middle here for the future. So, we will get into the first leg of the relegation playoff. It will be against FS. FSV mains and it will be a good one here. They're a four star team. We actually stack up now at a three and a half star. So pretty evenly matched you would think and this will give us a good barometer. Do we belong in the Premier League or in the Bundesliga or do we belong in Bundesliga 2 for another season? Let's see what we can do here against mains. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, into the box here. Guillaume brings it up nicely, but turns him right back over, and it's an early goal. Oh, he was right there to break it up. Didn't think we were going to intercept it, and easily gives it away. And only three minutes in, we're behind already. One to nil. Luckily, still a lot of time here to make it up. Winkler gets it up to Gabin. Gabin now going to swing it wide to Delonge. Delonge going to drive in. Can he find... Para in the middle, he gets on it, and he's in the back of the net. We saw Para make that run to the middle of the box. Gets behind the defender, stays on sides. And only 10 minutes later, we're back even, and a little bit of a bonus because that is an away goal, which count for two here in the playoffs. We get one in, back even, 13 minutes in, 1-1. One, one. Frank gets it up, Sullivan. Sullivan now gets it over to Para. Para going to drive forward, has DeLonge there, gives it up to him. DeLonge drives in, couldn't beat the keeper though. Maybe thought about giving it off to Para. Took the shot himself and couldn't put it home. Sullivan intercepts it as Frank lays it off to him. Frank now quickly up, has Winkler. Winkler, can he find it up? Looking for Para. Heavy touch. Can he win it back? It's in the box. Para sneaks it home and doesn't give up on the play. What a beauty as Pora knocks it into the back of the net after losing possession, just stays with it, swings his leg into it, and gets it past the keeper and gives us a big 2-1 to one advantage. 
to corner here to follow. Guillaume and Petit in the middle will loft it up to him. It's Renault right there, couldn't find it. Keepers on the ground. Para tries to send it back through on net, but too much traffic, and it goes back out to midfield. Cabin now with Para standing in the middle. Has it there, gives it off. Sullivan settling, gets Wayne. He's going to find it. It's 3-1, to one, and we came ready to play. I don't know if it's maybe the, the longer layoff. Had about, about a month time between now and our last game. Gave us a lot of time to rest, a lot of time to get fit, a lot of time to get on the training pitch, and Sullivan gives us a huge 3-1 to one advantage. Oh, Petit trying to get it up. Couldn't do it, and we're going to concede. Oh, thought we had Winkler, and it was just a poor pass. And well, just when you started to feel real good about having a big lead to go into the second leg and to go into halftime, it's a one-goal game now. It's 3-2. to two. And that will do it. We will go into halftime, an exciting one here. It's 3-2 to two in a close game. Oh, they drive past Baker. They get into a good position, driving right into the box. Baker tried to put pressure on. Deflected shot. Gets in there. Still in there. And Cabin wins that one again. And just couldn't get to the ball before the end line. It goes for a corner kick. Corner here. It goes into the box there. Nicely handled. Knocked down by Petit. No one gets there. And Nikosi has to make the save. Baker goes up to launch. Has the ball there. Goes to Sullivan. Sullivan now looking to go. Frank. Frank into the box. Has the ball. Tries to send it across. Para flicks it over. And it's in the back of the net. What a beaut there. And you know who's going to score. It's the man who always finds himself on the end of it. And gives us, again, a two-goal lead. And four away goals here on the road. As we try to find ourselves into the Bundesliga. Top of the box here. One-on-one -on -one with Guillaume, who's struggled thus far, intercepts it this time, and gets us out of danger. Matsuo gets it up, Frank. Frank going to drive forward here. Can he find it there for DeLonge? DeLonge now on to Para. Para trying to find another. Can he get there? He lays it off. Ivanov shanks it wide of the net and misses a big opportunity to give us a nice lead going into the final leg. Final build up here as they try to find a late goal back. They knock it over. It's a good chance. Offsides, though. And it will be one final touch. They'll make a sub, but for no reason at all. We take a 4-2 to lead, four away goals into the second leg of the relegation playoffs. So that'll do it for us here in this one as we get the first leg of the playoffs in. We will have the second leg in the next one. It's 4-2, four, four away goals, and really barring a big collapse. That should do it. We will then, no matter what, get into the off-season recap. We'll take a look at a squad report. We'll see what happened elsewhere in the world of football. We'll hopefully bring some players in during the off-season through our youth academy, and then we will We'll try and maybe offload a couple players and then finally we'll find out we'll get into where we are Bundesliga or Bundesliga 2 we'll see what happens to Parra's amazing season can he get Saarbrook all the way to the Bundesliga we'll find out next time but that does it for us here on this one if you did enjoy it make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest ones are coming out and until next time have a good one